Father, we bless your name. Mahasohande yaprande moso ni hasini katea. I thank you, Jesus. Many masohande yata yaprande masohande yapahasende. Bless the name of the Lord with me. Bless the name of the Lord with me this morning. Exalt his holy name. Magnify the name of the Lord this morning. May the haprande. Everything I'm thinking about you. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. Mahasende ya. Magnify the name of the Lord with me this morning. Bless the name of the Lord with me this morning. Father, we thank you. We magnify your name. We exalt your holy name, ancient of days. Receive all honor, receive all praise. May the hapando hosondi ataya. Father, we bless you. May the haprande mroni mosohondi ateliani ketaya. Somebody bless the name of the Lord, magnify his name. Bless the name of the Lord, magnify his name. Exalt his name. We glorify your name, Holy Spirit. We exalt your name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name, Mahasendi Atai Abrani Mroni Masihendi Atali. Katele Proni Mosuhandi Atai Abrani Mosuhandi. Kaprene Mroni Masihendi Atai Abrani Mosuhandi. Apandi Hasendi Katala Proni Mosuhandi Atai Abrani. Kaprene Mosuni Hasendi Katai Abrani. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord, exalt his name. Glorify the name of the Lord with me this morning. Exalt the name of the Lord with me this morning. Magnify his name. Make him greater. Make him stronger. Make him greater. Make him victorious. My God, my God, lift up the name of the Lord, somebody with me. Magnify his name with me this morning. May the haprani mosuni kadele proni masiheni hasai katale proni masieni. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord. Glorify his name. Magnify his name. He is king. He is Lord. There is none like him. Above the earth, there is none that can be compared. In power and in might, in majesty, there is none. Magnify the name of the Lord. If you just join us, go ahead and share and release the heart. Go ahead and share and release the heart. May the haprani mosuhani, I tell you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. May the haprani mosuhani. Kadele leprani mosuhani, I brani mosuhani. Magnify his name, magnify his name, magnify his name. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive all honor, receive all praise. May the hapaha Yes, Lord. May the haprane mosuhani. Exalt your name, Mahasiyandi kataya brani brani masihendi. Yes. 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 Magnify the name of the Lord, my Hasihendi Ataya Brani. Kadele Prone Mosuhani Ataya Brani. We exalt your name, Mahasendi Ataya Brani. Repare the Prani Mosuhani Ataya Brani. Father, we magnify you. We thank you, Holy Ghost. My Daha Prani Mosuhani Ataya Brani. Repare the Prani Mosuhani Ataya Brani. Go ahead and share and release the hearts. Go ahead and release the heart, somebody. Share, post it in a group. Invite somebody to join us this morning. What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. My God, Mahasendiyati. Enter his presence with praise. Enter his presence with thanksgiving. Magnify his name, exalt his holy name. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. We thank you, Holy Spirit. My God, Nipahasini. 
Glory to the name of the Lord. Everything written about you is great. You are great. We magnify your name. Exalt his name. Give thanks to the name of the Lord. Magnify his name. It is by his mercies alone that you are still alive this morning. It is by his grace that you are still alive. It is by his grace that you are not consumed. You went to bed yesterday with some people. Not all of them was able to wake up this morning. Not everyone was able to make up this morning. Not everyone was able to see the sun rise again. Not everyone was able to see that. For that reason, you have to be grateful. Be thankful unto the name of the Lord. Be thankful unto the name of the Lord. Somebody slept. But today they woke up in the morning with sickness. But you are alive. Live and kicking. Why don't you give thanks to the name of the Lord? Why don't you exalt his name? You are great, O Lord. We magnify you. We glorify your holy name. We worship your name. We magnify your majesty. 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 Receive all honor. Receive all praise. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name, O Lord. Receive all honor, Jesus. Receive all honor, Jesus. Receive all honor and praise, Mahasonia, darling. You are greater. 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 Yes. You are great. You are great. Everything written about you is great. Oh, Jesus. Magnify his name. Glorify his name. Exalt his name. Make him greater. Make him greater. Make him bigger. Make him greater. Mahasuni. Today Today, Masendi Hasuani Hasuani Atayabano Kuteli. We magnify your name. We glorify you. We exalt your holy name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. You alone, unto you alone deserve all praise. You alone deserve all glory. You alone deserve all adoration. We thank you, Father. We are grateful unto you this morning. May the Hapani Haswani. You are beautiful, Lord, here. Yeah. You receive all praise and honor and adoration. Hey, the giver of life, the sustainer of life, we glorify you. Everything written about you is great. Yes. Kadele proni mosoni hasieni kataya. Kapani hasieni kadele proni mosuhani yatalieni. Epende hosoni kata le preni mosuhani yatenia. Kapani hasieni yataya broni mosuhani yataye. Emenda hasoni hosoni kataya brani mosoni hasini ya. Apani hasoni yataya broni makide ya brani mosini ya. We thank you. We bless your name. We glorify your name, Mahasoni. Demons tremble at your presence. What a mighty God we serve. Oh God, we thank you, my God. Mahasendi Ataya. Bless the name of the Lord. Magnify his name. Everything written about you is great. You are welcome to morning glory. We are at 22 days of our 40 day fast. Hallelujah. To God be the glory, great things he has done. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Unto him be all praise and honor and adoration. Mada Abaya Nele. Kedele prone mosuhoni akadaya prane mosuhane. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. 
We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. To you be all honor, praise, thanksgiving. Holy Spirit, we thank you. My da haprani mroni mosuhani. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Mahasende heketaya prone mosuhani. You are great. Everything written about you. Is great. Father, we exalt your name. We magnify your holy name. We worship your name, Mahasoni Atalini. Prani Mosuni Hasiketaya. Kabrene Mosuhani Ataya Prani Mosuhani Katali Broni Mroni Masini. Father, I pray for Nana Ampofu. I pray in the name of Jesus that this morning you reveal yourself mightily in her life. Father, I pray by the hand of the Most High God that, Father, your hand will sustain and preserve her. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, I pray that you shall cause the impossible to be manifest in her life. I pray in the name of Jesus, anything that was turned in the way <coughs> tonight, this morning, of her, O oh God, receiving from you, Father, we come against it. We destroy Every scheme and every plan of the evil one. We destroy any orchestration of hell. We destroy any intent of hell against her life. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. We render it powerless. In the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, for Melody Williams. For Melody Williams. I pray in the name of Jesus that this morning may she have an encounter with you. May she have an encounter with you. A life transforming encounter in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, for Olive Matusi. Olive Matusi. For Raya de Souza. I pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Today you reveal your life, your power in your life, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. <clears throat> May whatever they desire to see, O oh God, and to see from you, I pray may it come to them. In the name of Jesus, in the miraculous name of Jesus, I pray, Holy Spirit, be your God, be your shoulder. In the name of Jesus, Mahasoni Adelia. I pray for Miss Friday. In the name of Jesus, patience was. Swab Swabu, I pray, O oh God, for Tuana Stevenson. I pray in the name of Jesus for patience. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you reveal yourself to them. I pray for my sister Eva, I pray. Eva Opuni, I pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God reveal himself unto you. May the Lord God, O oh God, do great and mighty things in your life. May the Lord God cause the impossible to be possible in your lives. In the name of Jesus. Gifty holiness, I pray. That the Lord be your sword and your God. May the Lord be your sword and the rewarder. I pray in the name of Jesus. May he cause your house to be elevated. May he cause your house to be elevated. I pray in the name of Jesus. I declare an open heavens over you. I declare an open heavens over you. Wherever city, wherever state you find yourself. I declare in the name of Jesus. May the heavens be open. May the land yield unto you. May the land respond to you when you speak in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Daniel Helen, Daniel Helen, Na Koko Okla, Na Koko Okla, Na Noko Okla, sorry, Na Noko Okla, I pray for you. Anything that seeks to dishonor you, anything from your background that seeks to discredit you <clears throat> in front of prominence people, I pray in the name of Jesus. I declare that thing powerless. May it catch the fire of the Most High God. Right now in the name of Jesus. No call no Okla. No call Okla. If you were going to come on live, I want to talk to you. Daniela Helen, Mahasoni Kedeli and Imponi Masini. Both of you, I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to bring you on live. Mahasiani. 
Salamatu Monsori, I pray in the name of Jesus. Salamatu Monsori, I pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be your sword and your God, a rewarder. Him that rewards, O Lord, may he be your sword and your God in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we pray. You want to pray in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to meet you at the point of your need. To this morning that you shall not leave you at the same. That the Lord shall open up. You shall have an encounter with him. You shall have an encounter with him. You have not come to meet Ernesto Pony. You have come to the Most High God. You have come to the one that is able to change your life. The one that is able to transform your life. The one that is able to bring healing. The one that is able to bring insight. The one that is able to restore. You have come to him. That God that is able to do the impossible. And it is God that you have come unto this morning. You did not come here to meet me. You did not come here to have an encounter with me. I have nothing to give anyone. I have nothing to give you, my sister my brother. I have nothing to do for you, my sister and my brother. It is the most high God that is able to deliver. It is the most high God that is able to set you free. It is him alone that is able to grant you the healing and your heart desire. You want to pray that he will manifest himself this morning in our midst, that he will manifest himself mightily in our midst, that he will do the impossible in our midst this morning. May the hapani has won it. Lift up your voice, somebody. Lift up your voice, all ye people. Be lifted up, all ye gates. And let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? He is the Lord God Almighty. I declare to every gate... I declare to every door, I declare to every ancient door that is closed, that is shut upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus, in the miraculous name of Jesus. I declare that this door shut now in the name of Jesus, that this door be opened in the name of Jesus. Every door that is shut before you, every door that is shut before you, I declare it open. I declare it open. I declare it open. I declare it open. The door to healing, the door to prosperity, the door to prominence, the door to acknowledgement. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare that door be wide open now in the name of Jesus. May that door be open. May that door be open. May that door open. May that door be open right now in the name of Jesus. Kadena hosoni ataya prani. Kadele prene mosoni ataya pa. Kapande hasoni e. Epende hataya. Kadena hasiane. Epende hate. Kepende hate. Epende 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 hate. A pen, a door, 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 a pen, a pen, a door, 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 a I Jesus, my son, the attire upon the Hesene Catalia, Amando Hoson, the attire upon the Hacienda, Italiano Cotai, upon the Atelia, 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 in the name of Jesus. Daniel Helen. Can you join me, Mahasuni? Daniel Helen, Mahasuni has seen Ketai. Holy Ghost, I pray. Father, I thank you. I thank you in the name of Jesus. Vicky Hope Roberts. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will preserve your life. I pray that the Lord will preserve your life. I pray that the Lord will preserve your life. I pray for long life for you in the name of Jesus. Hey! 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 Hey!
Repent Daniel Helen, if you'd like to join me, it would be great if I can have your life and minister to you. Na Noko, Noko, uh, where is she? Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Continue to magnify the name of the Lord. Ask the Lord to locate you this morning. Ask the Lord to locate you this morning. You pray for an encounter with the Lord. That, Father, I am not guided unto any man. I am here to receive from you. Manifest yourself in my life this morning. Do the impossible. May I send you a do the impossible, Mahasoni Adelia. Do the impossible, Mosuhoni Adelia. Please don't try to call me now. Don't try to call me now. Don't try to call me from Facebook. Otherwise, you interrupt. You interrupt the broadcast. If you're calling me from Facebook, you are interrupting the broadcast. You can call me through Facebook after the service. Thank you very much, Father. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Na noko, noko where is she? Mahasoni andeli katoi. Kata le prone mo suhani atali ani. Kate le prone mo suhani atiri ani masini hasin kataya. Kata le prone mo suhani atai abrane mo suhani. Continue to pray. Ask the Lord to meet you at the point of your need. You are asking for an encounter with this host, Most High God. Daniel Helen, I will try one more time. I'm going to send you an Daniel Helen. I'm sending you an invitation. If you want to come on live with me, accept it. Accept it. Okay, thank you very much. You declined the second time. That means you don't want to come. Thank you very much. Mahasua de Holy Spirit, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Gethrud, Gethrud, Kamara, Gethrud, Kamara, Gethrud, Kamara. If you can enable the camera on your phone, Gethrud, Kamara, Mahasone Hasinketai. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Okay, Nanoko, Nanoko. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. Mahasua Nekatayu. Continue to magnify the name of the Lord. Mahasua Nekatayu. Who are Lord and Lord of Lords. Today, Yapahasu Yes, we magnify your name. We exalt your name. How are you now? By his grace. Is that your real name? It's my gun name. And my gun name. name is Eunice Bay Okla. Okay. I don't know. The Lord wants us to pray with you. Do you have children? Yes, I have two boys. Two boys. Okay. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I ask you this because do you want to have more? <laughs> I'm separated now, but if God wants me to marry again, I will love to have a girl. <laughs> because I see the potential of having, but I see a struggle in marriage. That's why I ask you, I see so many, so many in you, so many children gathered around you. And I was asking the Lord, where are these? What are these? Are they children she have already or children she's supposed to have? But the Lord says we should deal with an altar in the family that fights against marriage. 
because there is no need for you to have many children and not a father figure in the house. You have both children by the same father. Different man. Okay. Different man. We want to pray for you. I thank God you are here. We serve a God that is a restorer. We serve a God that is able to overturn, overturn the story of men and women. We serve a God that is able to deliver us from the, from the bondage, from the bondage. And the things that we ourselves, out of ignorance, have gotten ourselves into. It is this God that we have come to this morning. Mm. It is this God that we have come to this morning. There is so much potential in you. You are an untapped diamond field. You are an untapped, untapped diamond field. Like, there is so much in you that the surface, you have not even seen the surface of it yet. And today you have come to that God that is able to refine people. He's able to refine lives and bring hope where there is no hope. Hallelujah. 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 You have been expecting to hear a good news for some time now. Amen. The Lord says in the next three days, Amen. in the next three days, there is a message that you will get in the next three days, whatever you are looking for. In the next three days, I don't know what it is, but the Lord is telling me three days. Tell her in the next three days. She's been waiting for a message. She's been waiting for a feedback. In the next three days, Father, in the next three days, Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. In the next three days, in the next three days, in the next three days, it shall not tarry. It shall not delay. It shall not tarry. Mahasoni has sent the attack. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Mahasi In the next three days. In the next three days. In the next three days. Three days. It's one thing about the prophetic. You say stuff and sometimes you, your mind play with you. But the Lord says it shall not delay. Amen. Have we talked before? No. Are you sure? Your wife. You talked to my wife? No. Okay. But I see so much potential around you, my sister. So much. So much. I see a family, a young girl growing up and the family contemplating whether they should do they should do they should have you go through a ritual. There is something you do the homo war are you from the east eastern? I'm from yeah I'm Ga I'm from uh, Osu also, did you ever have to do the is it bravo or one of those things? Yeah. What is it? Did you ever have to partake of it? 
No. My aunties used to, my daddy's sisters used to bring the food to the house. But we don't, yeah. Or I see a family. To Kumasi to come and do it. The home I see there. a family contemplating whether they should actually have you partake of it. Dress mm -hmm. you up, partake of that thing. And the Lord is saying, there are seeds that have been sown in the family because of because of the involvement in that practice. The Lord is saying that I should pray for you, and as I pray for you, that thing will be broken over you. Whatever covenant, whatever association, we are denouncing any association through that. Anything to that thing that fights against your marriage, that the Lord will set you free. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, can you pray this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Are you born again? I am. You received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, sir. When was that? At the age of 16. 16. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. I bless your name. I bless your name. Today. Today. I denounce any association. I denounce any association. I denounce any association. I denounce any association. To any altars. To any altars. That fights against my marriage. That fight against my marriage. Any initiations. Any initiations. That I have had. That I have had. Knowingly. Knowingly. And unknowingly. And unknowingly. That is fighting against my marriage. Fighting against my marriage. I pray. I pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That I have no connection. That I have no connection. Devil. Devil. Hear me. Hear me. This morning. This morning. I am sold out for Christ. Sold out for Christ. I am sold out to Christ. I am sold out to Christ. May the blood of Jesus. May the blood of Jesus. Set me free. Set me free. Set me free. Set me free. Ministerial angels. Ministerial angels. Angels of war. Angels of war. War on my behalf. War on my behalf. I denounce any marriage. I denounce any marriage. I denounce any any spiritual marriage. I denounce any spiritual marriage. I declare. I declare. That they have no part in my life. That they have no part in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I pray. Holy Ghost, I pray. Right now. Right now. Set me free. 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 Now. 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 Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for now. I pray by the miracles name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, we denounce any association Amen. and any seed that is sown in her life. Any connection, Father, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Right now, we set you free. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Mahasenika Deli Right now, come out. Get out of there now. You foul spirit, get out now. In the name of Jesus, Mahasenika Deli Come out right now. In the name of Jesus, yes, you foul spirit. You have no power. You have no place in her life. She is born of the blood, bought by the blood of Jesus, set apart. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I declare in the name of Jesus, wherever you came through, through food, through any associations, through any incisions, I pray in the name of Jesus. Get out! Now! Out! In the name of Jesus. You hear me. I come not in my name, but I come in the name of Jesus. I come in the miraculous name of Jesus. And I declare unto you, the Bible says... That at the sound of the name of Jesus, all kneels should bow and all tongue will confess that he is come, he is king, he is king. Now, may the king of glory come through. May the king of glory come through. I declare in the name of Jesus that you bow to the name of the king of glory and you come out of there now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Set her free. Now, in the name of Jesus, take everything that belongs to you, all your rings, everything you put on her finger, any form of association now, I pray in the name of Jesus, any tokens you left in her, come out, take it out now, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost, now, get it out, now, get out, now, in the name of Jesus, take it out, one, two, touch, in the name of Jesus, get out, 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 out, everything that belongs to you, take it out of there. Now, in the name of Jesus, get out. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, we set you free. Amen. We set you free. Amen. We set you free. Amen. We set you free. In Jesus' name, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for healing in your body. Any spirit of infirmity afflicting your body, now I declare in the name of Jesus. The fear of falling sick, the fear of contracting any sickness. Today I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that He has no power over you. No, Jesus. No! Get out! I rebuke you, you foul spirit. The Bible says it is written that healing is the bread of the children of salvation. Today I dispense healing over her body. Amen. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, I declare her body whole. Mm. I declare her body whole. Mm. I declare her body whole and set apart for you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Her body whole and set apart for you, Holy Spirit. Every growth, every growth, yes. now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, okay. we dissolve it out of your body huh? and we declare it come out of you. Mm. Now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Now, God bless you. God bless you, my sister. It is well. It's what I'm saying makes sense. It does. I thank God for your life. There is so much that the Lord has in store for you. You have not seen anything yet. You will live long. You will live long. Long life, you will live long. You will live long and see your great grandkids. You will live long. Long life with sound health. It's your portion. And I declare that over you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Long life and sound health is your portion. In Jesus' name. God bless you, my sister. Bless you too, brother. God bless you. God bless you. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Mahasuhandi. Regina. Regina. Regina Ingelo. Regina Ingelo. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Regina Ingelo. Regina Ingelo. <clears throat> 
Regina Ingel. Father, I thank you. Mahasoni Hasiyan Katana. Regina Ingel Ingelo. Regina, Mahasiyandi Yataya Prani. Where are you, Regina? I'm in Namibia. Namibia. Yes, Prophet. God bless you, my sister. Amen. Holy Spirit, I thank you. What happened to your marriage? Why are you not married? Hmm? Are you married? No, I'm not married. What happened? I don't know. You were with a man that was supposed to marry you. Let him go, okay? Eh? Let him go. You were there was a man that you was should supposed do it, to marry prophet. you. I'm sorry. I don't know which I don't know which man supposed to marry me. Were you engaged to someone? No, I go I never got engaged. You never got engaged. Was he proposing to marry you? Not a real. I'm sorry. I've been uh not real. I my my relationship they are always not good, anyways. And you are not good. Okay. Yes. You will marry. Amen. You will marry. Amen. Today I remove every dark cloud that covers you. Amen. I remove every dark cloud that covers you. Amen. I expose you, I anoint you in the name of the Father and of the Holy Ghost. And I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, I remove any dark Amen. cloud. I speak to it to depart out of your life now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. that what your mother struggle with, that women in your family struggle with, you shall not be a part of it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I mark this day as a day that turn that is a turnaround day for you. That today your life will be turned around. Today a testimony Amen. shall come out of your lips. Today the sounds Amen. of thanksgiving shall come out of your house and out of your bosom. Amen. Any that cloud that hovers over you. That causes people to take you for granted. That causes people to disregard you. I pray in the name of Jesus that that aura depart out of your life right now in the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to that aura. I speak to that aura in the mighty name of Jesus. That it has no part over you. Jesus. Amen. There is a family member that is sick with an incurable disease. They say the disease is not curable. I hear them say that disease, this disease is not curable. Who has contracted an incurable disease? Oh, my my family we uh, we are suffering from diabetic. You are suffering diabetes. from diabetics. Yes, uh, most like my 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 big brother is already injecting himself, but he's not big. He's just thirty six. Thirty. Thirty six. Uh, he's years just thirty eight. Thirty eight years old. And it runs in the family. Yeah, it runs in the whole family. My mother died. My grandmother died because of that. My mom. So it's it's in the it's it's running in the whole family. Do you have it? No, they didn't like. No, I don't have it. You don't have it. Today I use. And I will not a, have it. 
I use you as a point of contact. And I seize the curse that flows in the bloodline. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Are you born again? Yes. Okay. Today, I use you as a point of contact. And I raise the blood of Jesus as a banner over the family. Amen. I raise the banner of Jesus, the blood of Jesus as a banner over the family. And I declare Amen. that the affliction cease now in the name of Jesus. That affliction from that sickness, that demonic entity that is assigned to afflict the bloodline. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, that that disease cease out of your bloodline. In the name of Jesus. For it is written that Jesus Christ was made a curse for us. For it is written that curse is he that is hung on the cross. He was exchanged. He was made a curse for us. And today I stand forth in the name of Jesus Christ. That because of the blood of Jesus, because of that exchange, the curse that runs in the family through sickness, we revoke that curse now in the name of Jesus. And we overturn it in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the blessings of the Lord God over your family. I declare that the blessings of the Lord God will visit the family. I declare the blessings of the Lord God visit the family. I declare this curse overturned now in the name of Jesus. It's overturned now in the name of Jesus. It's overturned now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I thank you. I bless your name. In the name of Jesus. And please pray for my pray for my business. It's it's very that I, I'm not getting anything. And I have a parcel that I received from China, but it was confiscated now for three weeks, and the person who confiscated doesn't want to give it to me. The government confiscated it or somebody? Somebody. How? How did they do that? Are you there? Are you there? How did they confiscate your stuff? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, no, because I supposed to, 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 there was a scam on Facebook that got my number asking for brand chat, and then I didn't have them then. I don't know the guy, and I just said, no, take the shirt from this friend of mine. My friend, she is claiming that she, she gave her shirt, and apparently she thought, she thought she received the money when she went to the ATM. is a scam, the, the SMS, it's not withdrawing. From there, she started like, I sent her a scam, but seriously, I don't know the guy. And I ordered for her the shirt. When I gave her 10 shirts, she's saying they are fake. She cannot give the now she's saying she's not today she's saying she is not going to give me my my box and um and the shed she have them my box she have them I but I call the police but they, they say they will help me out because even by our law like that she, she cannot do that she, she might go in jail. You're gonna get the stuff back. Before Friday they will bring the stuff back to you. Amen. Before Friday, they will bring every single item. None will be taken. They will bring everything back to you. Do you Amen. hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Do you pay your tithe at your church? No. Why? Okay. Uh, I was out. I was out. I was abroad for school. It's where I got born again. When I came back home, it was hard for me to to get a church that I was sitting. So I was staying at home. 
After I came back, like the whole of last year, I was at home. I went back to church this year now. It's when I got a church that I will be worship. I will be totally part of that there. church. Okay. I'd like you to start giving your tithe. Okay. The secret. But I your, do give seed. The secret to your success in the business is paying your tithe. Okay, but I I I give seed. You give what? You give seed. Yes. It's not the same. Okay, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. Your tithe is ten percent of your increase. Ten percent of your increase. But now I cannot give tithe because the business is very dry, very dry, very dry. Even even right now, as I'm talking, my son don't have food to eat because it's no more the same. Your son don't have food to eat. Yes, because. I supposed to give people those things in that parcel for them to pay me, but I cannot give them because some the person is saying she's not giving the parcel and customers they are not coming. It's very dry. Okay. I'll pray for you. You are gonna get those items back. But I want you to when you make your profit, pay your tithes to your church. Whichever church you go into, pay your tithe there. I'm gonna pray for you. Okay, mm. and I will mm. send you something to buy food for your son. Mm. I'll send you something to Amen. buy food for your son. Do you Amen. hear me? So yes. you guys can have food in the house. I'm going to mm. pray for you. The Lord will mm. bring they, they will bring the stuff back to you. Mm. Huh? When yes, your business, profit. when you sell that thing, whatever profit you make. Pay mm -hmm. your tithe to your church. Yes, prophet. Do you hear me? Mm. Okay. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray for my sister. Amen. I pray for my sister. Amen. Any hand, anyone who has possession of anything that belongs to her, even including things she does not know about. Things she knows about and things she does not know about. I pray in the name of Jesus. I send forth your angels and I send forth your word and I claim that those things be returned to her in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That Father, things that she don't even know belongs to him. May those things be retained. In the name of Jesus. Things that are held up in the flesh. Things that are held up in the spirit. I pray for a release. Right now in the name of Jesus. A release. In the miraculous name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. I bless mm -hmm. your name. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. 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 My sister, God bless you. Okay, God bless you. I'll talk Amen. to you again. Send my send your information to me through the messenger. Okay, can you get PayPal? Mm. Can you get how? Can you get money? Yes, I can get PayPal. PayPal, send me your PayPal yes. information. I'll send you money. Okay, to buy food for your you and okay, your family. Mm. Okay. Bye. God bless you. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I bless the name of the Lord. Uh, last week, I thank God for what he's doing. I thank God for what he is doing. He is a great and merciful God. He is a faithful 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 God. Last week, I started talking about faith. Hallelujah. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Those that comes to him should believe that he, one, he exists. And secondly, he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. 
Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Some of you have been fasting with us all these 22 days. Hallelujah. Without your faith in this fasting, in God, all the things that you are doing, the prayer you are praying, and that it will amount to nothing. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that anything done without faith in the kingdom is sin. That's what the Bible says. Whatever is done outside of faith in the kingdom of God is sin. So you can even give your money, your wealth, give your land, give your house, give your car towards the kingdom. If it's done out of faith, it is sinful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the following, this week, I'm going to continue teaching about faith. Hallelujah. Faith is the only commodity that heaven responds to. Faith is the only thing that heaven responds to. As a matter of fact, the eye of the Lord is looking to and fro, looking back and forth, left and right, east and west, south and north, looking for someone that is full of faith, that he can release his blessings. He can release whatever their heart desires are to them. You cannot receive anything from God outside of faith. Outside of faith, there is nothing that you can receive from Him. Without faith, it is impossible to receive anything. Jesus Christ says something which is very profound. He says that when you pray, when you ask for something, believe and you shall receive it. Believe and you shall what? Receive it. Trust and obey God. That is the only way we can receive anything. That is the only way we can please him. Without faith in him, there is nothing. There is nothing. Faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by hearing the word of God. The word of another man cannot ignite faith in you. But if it's a word of God through someone, a word of God through his own word, a rhema word from God, that is what is able to ignite faith. That is able to what is able to cause the hand of God to be made manifest in your life. The Bible talks about a young man by name Bartimaeus. By name Bartimaeus. In Mark 10, I think it's Mark 10, chapter 46 through the 52. It talks about a young man by name Bartimaeus that was living in the outskirts of the city. Outside of the city of Jerusalem. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was on his way to that city. And this man was living, staying in the outskirts. Why? Because of his sickness. This man was blind. He has been blind from birth. He has been blind. And for that reason, he did not qualify to stay in the city. He was sitting outside of the city gates. Some of you, 
are not outside of the city gates, but you are in the city, but your heart, all but people have placed you outside. Outside of the circle. Outside of where you belong. Outside of things that... They have placed you outside of things that you actually you qualify for. You have been neglected. You have been rejected all your life. You have been sidelined all your life. The Bible says that when this man heard of Jesus Christ coming to pass by. Because I believe there have been multitudes of people you know, throw them with children and, 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 and wives and, and families following Jesus for days. And the multitudes, people screaming about things he, was, he had done and things he was about to do. And people asking for all kinds of help. People asking for Jesus to do the impossible in their lives. And I believe blind Bartimaeus heard about Jesus Christ passing by. Hallelujah passing by and the Bible says in the verse 40 in the verse uh, 50 hallelujah in the verse 48 it's written that this man shouted to Jesus Christ. That is faith at work. He shouted, he screamed at Jesus. Even though when people were telling him to be quiet, when people were telling him to shut up, this man kept screaming. He kept shouting. He will not hold his peace. He will not be quiet. He will not be quiet. When faith ignites in you, when faith is revived in you, no man can tell you to be quiet. Hallelujah. No man can tell you to be quiet. As a matter of fact, you will fight anyone that says otherwise in anything that you believe. If Faith hits you that the God that you serve, even though you are sick and the doctor is declaring your body dead and the doctor is giving you five days to live and faith hits you, something in you delight, comes to light and all of a sudden you have a belief and a trust in God. That no, you will not die tomorrow. No, you will not die two weeks uh, uh, from now. No, you will not die next year. No, you will not die three, three years from now. But you shall live and declare the goodness of the Lord. When that word comes alive in you, because it's the word of God, no one can tell you otherwise. You will actually fight with them. You will actually rebook every hand and every mouth that speaks otherwise. You know the reason why you've given up on your dreams and on the things that you were expecting, you were hoping to receive from God is because you had no faith. You had no faith. When faith comes alive in you, nothing will stop you. Nobody. Nothing will stop you. No, 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 no. Nothing. No one can talk you out of it. Hallelujah. No one. This man was persuaded. This man was pushed. This man was trod upon. This man, people stepped on him. Telling him to be quiet. He did not qualify to speak to a rabbi. Jesus Christ was not a Christian. He was not a pastor at that time. He was a Jewish rabbi at that time. He was a Jewish teacher at that time. He was a rabbi at that time. And for a blind man to approach him that way, it was out of order. But there was something that came alive in this man. He saw Jesus Christ as the son of David, the savior, the one that was able to save, the one that was able to restore, the one that was sent to restore the people of Israel back 
to where they belong. And he thought in himself that this is my opportune time. I will not let this one pass me by. I will not let this one pass me by. Some of us, we easily give up in life. You tried a business one time and it failed, so you've given up. Some of you, somebody proposed that he was going to marry you and, and he did not come through to that proposal. And for that reason, all men are evil. Including the one that is trying to be with you right now. All men are evil. Because one man, one man did not come through with his proposal. I had opportunity to talk with a man in his sixties yesterday, and he was telling me about what happened when he was growing up, about his story when he was in training college, about a twenty-three-year-old man who had fallen in love with with uh, with his high school high school sweet sweetheart, and he was telling me. That Ernest, I was so much in love with this woman, this girl that I wanted to marry her. And after, after training college, I have proposed to her. I have told my family about her. We were ready to go and marry this woman. And before, the day before I went to, to do the customary, to do the the right to, to really make her my wife, to go see the family and present the diary and all that stuff, I received a letter from her. She sent me a letter telling me she cannot marry me. He said, my life, I was devastated. My life was seemed like torn apart. And my life was devastated. And I left the country out of, out of shame, out of embarrassment, I left. He said 30 years from that day, from that time, 30 years. Through Facebook, he had the opportunity to meet with this woman or through connect with this woman. Now a woman, through Facebook. And they had connected again and she had... She was telling the woman how much she thanked her for helping her because through through training college, she had that woman had really impacted her life, his life. He had really helped him through his education, and she had the opportunity to thank her. And she asked her whether she was married. And this woman started telling him what had happened after she sent the letter. She said, after I've sent you the letter, I've waited seven years. I did not hear anything from you. Actually, two weeks after I sent the letter, I came back looking for you, but you were not at your house. They said you had traveled. And I waited seven years, hoping that you will come back. And I waited, you did not show up. So I got involved with this gentleman and this person got me pregnant out of wedlock. He said he was going to come and marry me. I told my family about it. I had everybody got it. All my family had waited. Waiting for this man to come and marry me. But this man sent me a letter through a messenger. When my family had got it, everybody else had got it. Waiting to receive the diary for the, all the stuff to be done, for me to be properly married. The person did not even come. He sent a letter through a messenger saying that he cannot marry me. He said, when I received the letter, my life was devastated. I nearly committed suicide. My life was torn apart. And I told myself that I will not be with any other man. So she gave birth to her baby, her, her son, 
uh, gave to baby to a baby boy. The son was, his, was in his, about 28 years old now. And she's not seen any man. She has never dated any man, not gone out with any man. And, and she is alone by herself. The sad thing about it is she had contracted the disease, which the doctors don't know what it is. They can't even cure that sickness. Beloved, because somebody said they will not marry you, that is not the end of your life. That should not be the end of your life because somebody proposed to you and did not come through. You started a business and you failed. And so what? Pick it up and start it again. That should not be the end of your life. You started one business and it failed. You wrote the test and you failed the exam. So you are not writing that test anymore. You gave up on that career. You gave up on a career because you failed a test. Do you know how many times Einstein failed trying to make a light bulb, trying to make electricity? Do you know how many times he failed at it? He tried several times, 90 times, even 99 times. But he finally got it. When he was asked, why did you keep trying again and again? He said, anytime I failed, uh, anytime I tried and failed, I knew, I knew what to do wrong, to, how, what to do not to be successful in trying to make electricity. So anytime you try and fail at your business, if you do not give up, anytime you try and fail at something, if you do not give up, don't look it, at it as a failure. Look at it as what to do not to succeed in that act. What to do if you do not want to succeed? Never give up. Keep your faith alive. Never give up. Blind Bartimaeus, I believe, before he was able to, Jesus Christ told him to come. He told the people, let this man come. You tell a blind man to come. And the Bible says that he stood up. He stood up on his feet. He started walking towards Jesus Christ. That is faith. Alive. For a blind man to get up off his feet and walk towards the sound. Huh? He did not see any man. Towards the sound of a voice that he had heard. A blind man. And that is exact replica of faith. Faith is the substance of things we have hoped for. Evidence, evidence of things not seen. People that walk by faith are all like blind Bartimaeus. Men and women that walk by faith are all like blind Bartimaeus. Why? Because you have hope for something that you have not seen. All you can hear is a sound. Every man of God, every man and woman of God, every person that acts by faith will always tell you, there is something that I heard. There was something that was within me. There was something that was telling me. There was something that convinced me that that thing that I believe in will surely happen. That is faith at work. As I'm speaking right now, if you're watching me and your faith is dead and you feel like giving up, may you receive the power and the grace of God that is able to cause your faith to come back alive. Hallelujah. Blind Bartimaeus heard a voice. Heard Jesus Christ call him. And the Bible says that he jumped on his feet. He heard Jesus call him. And he did the impossible. Not considering the consequence. When you are considering the consequence, faith has no place. When there is a plan B, there is a saying, never have a plan B because people that have a plan B will eventually use it. There is no faith at play when there is a plan B. When there is a plan B, forget about faith. 
you will not find it there. You will not find it there. You started a business. And you went through a hardship. You went through through the red, the red, the 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 the, the red marks, the, the the state regulations and all kinds of things that you have to pass, you have to fulfill, and you want to give up. No, don't give up. No, don't give up. No, don't give up. No, don't give up. You prayed a whole year and God has not answered your prayer. And you have done what? Giving up. Hmm. Our generation. We are one of the most advanced in postmodern world. But we are the one of the least patient. We don't have patience for anything. We want everything pa, pa, like microwave. Everything quickly. Quick, 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 quick. No. 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 I believe blood Bartimaeus have heard about Jesus Christ several times. People traveling from Jericho to Jerusalem have talked about Jesus Christ. Traveling from Jerusalem to, to Jericho on their way back. Hey, there is this man, this, this rabbi. There is this rabbi that is healing people in the temple. There is this rabbi. And I believe he has stood there and prayed and have waited for an opportune time. That Jesus Christ may come by. May pass by. So he will receive his healing. And when he heard that Jesus was coming by. When he heard that Jesus Christ was was coming through, he said to himself, I better tap onto this. I better jump on this. I better make the best out of this opportunity. And for that reason, he would not let Jesus pass by without him receiving his sight. Beloved, faith attracts. Faith attracts the impossible hand of God to do the most impossible things in our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith sustains. Faith sustains. Faith will preserve you. Faith will attract the, even the impossible. Faith will create where there is nothing. This man has lost his eyesight. He has lost his eyesight. He has lost his eyesight. He could not see. But when his faith came alive, he qualified to hear the voice of God and the Son of the Most High God to reach out onto his situation and to his condition. Jesus told him, Jesus asked him in the verse 51, he says, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. 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 Jesus, I want to see. He says, Rabbi, I want to see. The verse 52, Jesus Christ said, He said, go. Jesus said, your faith have healed you. Wow. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the way. Your faith has healed you. My God. When you are operating in the arena of faith, when you are playing in the arena of faith, you attract the impossible. Jesus did not say, I healed you. No, he said, your faith. Your faith has healed you. I'm reading from Matthew, uh, sorry, Mark, Mark 10, the verse 46 to 52. Mark 10, the verse 46 to 52. Jesus Christ, he said, go. Your faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. Your faith. Your faith has healed you. 
when we are operating in faith, we have to let go our all. Huh? We have to let go of our all. We have to let go of our all. I came to a place in my life where I was so devastated in my life. I was born again. I knew God's word. But I thought I could do everything by myself. I thought I had to be in charge of my life. I thought I had to be in charge of everything. I want to stay on top of everything. You know, when, when you are raised, when you are raised, when you go through school, at a place where you have to see things before you can believe it. Growing up as a science student, I, I was taught that everything has to be have, have empirical evidence. There should be some kind of empirical evidence. There should be something that is tangible. There should be something that I should prove to believe in something. So when, so when you have a hypothesis, when you have a law that you want to prove right, you have to have numbers. Something tangible to, before you can actually put your assurance in that thing. And for me, I had to be in charge of, I had to see the numbers to believe. And one day, I hear the Lord speak to me clearly that Ernest, for you to operate in the arena of faith, for you to see my hand at work in your life, you have to be dead. You are so much alive in your body, in you, that you can see me at work. That is how some of us are. We are so much alive. Sure, we are alive. We are so much, we want to be in control. We want to be in charge. We want to know the details. We want to know. <laughs> we want to know. We want to know when this thing is going to happen and how it's going to happen. And we want it now at our own time. Now. There is nothing wrong with putting a demand. Sometimes on our anointing, when you come on here, you put a demand on God. You put a demand on God that God, that is another for faith on a different level. That is faith on a different level. You want to put a demand on God, not a demand on yourself. There is a difference between that. Demand on God and putting a demand on yourself. When we want something now, in our generation, we want it now. And we put that demand not on God, but on ourselves. We have to deliver this thing now. We put a demand not on God, but on ourselves. That is the problem with our generation. That is the problem with our generation that wants everything done quickly. A problem with our generation that needs everything done. In our own time, we put the demand on on ourselves and not on God. When we put a demand on God, we have assurance and our faith is ignited. Our faith comes alive. Hallelujah. 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 There is a story about a young, another man who was also blind. On his way to Damascus by name Saul, Saul was somebody that had persecuted the church. Somebody that has persecuted Jesus Christ. He has persecuted anything that has his name on it. Anyone that decided to follow the life and the lifestyle of Jesus. That proclaimed the life of Jesus. Paul, who was then Saul, persecuted that person. He had people killed for calling on the name of Jesus. For calling on the name of Jesus. For calling on the name of Jesus. For trusting. For walking in the path of Jesus. He had them killed. Saul was a dangerous guy. If Saul was in our time. Beloved you and I. When we heard the name of Saul. Wherever city he was. We would not want, dare go there. Hallelujah. Saul would be on our prayer topic. He will be number one list on our prayer topic. We will pray that God will kill him so we will be free. That God will kill him. 
that some, something should happen to him so he will die, so we will be free. If Saul was in our days, if we were living in the days of Saul, Saul was the dangerous guy. Saul was a brutal guy. He was a dangerous guy. He was zealous for God. He was zealous for the things that he believed in. He was, he had so much confidence in the things that he was doing. And everything he did, he believed that he was doing it to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Some of you are zealous for the wrong things. Yes, you are zealous for the wrong things. You have zealous for the wrong things, for some traditions, for some things that mankind have put together. And have zero zeal, zero confidence, zero passion for the things of God. Saul, on his way to Damascus, he has actually taken authority. He has actually received a letter, a, proof, a stamp of approval to go and kill the Jews. To go and kill, sorry, the people that have believed in Jesus Christ. To persecute the church in Damascus on his way. The Bible says that Jesus Christ revealed himself unto him. In the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostles, Jesus revealed himself unto him. And he also fell blind. Jesus asked him, Saul, why do you persecute me? Jesus asked him, Saul, why do you persecute me? He fell blind until God threw one of the servants. Jesus threw one of the servants, prayed for him, and he recovered his eyesight. Paul said something. He said something that is so much profound. In Galatians 2.10, those of you that can put in it, somebody can post it there for me. Galatians 2.10. Kappa Hasomi Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Ghost. Hey, Jesus, we bless your name. Galatians 2, 2 10, he says, I have been crucified with Christ. Somebody that was crucifying, somebody that was crucifying people for believing in Christ. Father, I thank you. Somebody that was crucifying people for believing in Christ. Somebody that was stoning people for believing in Christ. He said, Jesus, I thank you. Sorry, I take that back. Galatians 2.20. He says, I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live. After he had had an encounter with Jesus Christ. After he had experienced Jesus Christ. After he had, Jesus has revealed himself to him. On the road to Damascus. He wrote to the church in Galatians. He said that I have been crucified with Jesus. And I no longer live. But Jesus lives in me. When we have an encounter with Jesus Christ and have faith in Him and let go of everything and anything that we have confidence in and trust Him and say to ourselves that the life that we live, it is not we who live, but Jesus lives through us. We can say to ourselves, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. Hallelujah. If we are too much alive, we cannot see the faith of God come alive in our lives. 
we can see faith come alive in our, in our lives. Hallelujah. Until we die to the things that we hold so dear to. Until we give up on the things that we hold on so dearly. Jesus Christ cannot come alive in us. He will not have the full power to operate in our lives. He will not have the fullness to operate in our lives. Hallelujah. He says that I live by faith in the Son of God. Somebody that was crucifying the church. Somebody that was killing people for believing in Jesus Christ. He realized that whatever he was pursuing, whatever he held dear, can never be compared to trusting and believing in Jesus. Hallelujah. To trust him and believe in, in Jesus. If you just join us, go ahead and release the hearts and share. Go ahead and release the hearts and share. Paul, whom most people believe that he wrote the book of uh, Hebrews, he says in Hebrews 1 the verse 3, he says that the sun is the radiance of the God's glory. If we have full assurance and if we die and have Christ comes alive in us. Somebody is asking, how do I die to Christ? <laughs> how do I die to Christ? How do I die to Christ? You die when you say that, Father, it is not I who live. I choose to live my life to please you. I choose to live my life in your will. I choose to live according to your word, not by myself. That you shall choose the will of God over what yourself and your body dictates to you. That, what is, that is why we say that you are dying to yourself and you want Christ to live in you. Hallelujah. He says that it is not I who live, but I live by faith. I live by faith. I do not live by my check account. He does not live by his check account. He does not live by his connection with people and men of prominence. He does not live by plan B. When we're considering plan B, we can never. One of the greatest men that I have known as the heroes of faith in our time, David Oyedipo. He said something that really beats my mind. He said one day the Lord told him that son one your eyes how many eyes do you have? He said I have two eyes. He said can you make one eye look at heaven and another eye look at the earth at the same time? Can you make one eye one of your eyes look at heaven and another eye look at the earth at the same time? You cannot. You cannot lift up your head up, your eyes up into the heavens, and the same time one eye bore pointing down here on earth. You cannot say that you have trust in God and still be trusting in people. That has been our problem in the body of Christ. We have so much divided loyalty. One eye looking up to God and another eye looking up to man. And we cannot make that happen. So we are always looking up onto other people. Other people. And man will always fail us. I don't care. Man has his own limits. I don't care who you trust in. Man has his own limits. Man can only go so far. But if you shall put your trust and your faith in this God. If you shall put your trust and your faith in this God that we serve. He will come through for you. He will not disappoint you. He will not leave you unforsaken. He will not leave you hanging. He will come through for you. Some of you are believing God for your healing. 
This is a good time to trust in him again. Some of you are believing God for healing for your family. You are believing God for healing for a sibling, for a husband, for a spouse, for your child. It is time to trust in him again. It is time to believe in him again. It is time to believe in him again. It is time to believe in him that he is able to sustain us. He is able to preserve us. He is able to hold us in place. Hebrews 1.3 He says the Son, Jesus Christ, the Son. Paul is saying here, the one that he has have faith in, the one that he living for, the one that he is living by faith in. He says, the Son is the radiance of God's glory. Hebrews 1, the verse 3. He says that the Son of God, He is the radiance of God's glory. So if you are living for Jesus Christ, if you are living by faith in the Son of God, I want to assure you, you are not trusting in any mere thing. Your trust is in one who is the radiance of God's glory. When we talk about the glory of God, we're talking about the omniscience, the omnipotence, the all-sufficiency of God. He is the radiance of it. He is a representation of that. He is God in the flesh. He is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. Ha! 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 What I see, what I seek in God, what I Pursue in God what I would like to see in God at work in me. That is who Jesus Christ is. That is what he is saying. He says, He says that the Son, that the Son is the radiance of God, the exact representation of his being. You want to hear this? And the most powerful thing, he says. He is sustaining all things by His powerful Word. The Word of Faith. Every word from God is a word of faith. Every rhema from God is a word of faith. He is sustaining all these things by His powerful Word. By His powerful Word. Faith cometh by hearing. And what? By hearing the word of God. In every word of God is hidden the power of faith. In every word of God is hidden the mystery of faith that is able to cause the impossible to happen. So that when Jesus Christ called on blind Bartimaeus to come forth, when he told him to go, it was a rhema from God that he could rely on. It was a word that was able to sustain him, to able to bring him his eyesight. Hallelujah. When he took that word, when blind Bartimaeus took that word and held on to that word, and he said, no matter how my mind is telling me, no matter what my eyesight is telling me, no matter what my feet is telling me, if I am not able to see, if I do not see right now, I so trust and believe that if this word is from God, I can go to bank with it. If this word is from God, I can go to the checking account and cash on it. If this is word is from God, I can take it to God and get something out of it. If this word is from God, no matter what I do not see, I can still count on God. And Jesus looked at him. He said, man, I did not hear you, but your faith has made you well. Somebody, your faith will make you well today. Your faith will restore you everything that you have lost. Your faith will reward, will send to you everything your heart desire. Your faith will make the impossible happen. Your faith will make everything that you have lost come to life. Your faith will restore unto you everything that you desire. Your faith will give unto you whatever your heart desire. Your faith, not my faith, not your brother's faith, but your faith in God. Your belief in God, your trust in God will make the impossible happen. 
will make the impossible happen. Will make the impossible happen. I am bringing my message to an end. Somebody, you are watching me. And you say, man of God, help my unbelief. I am filled with unbelief. You are hearing me and you say, this thing that you call faith, I want to experience it. You only experience the first step of experiencing faith in God is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. If you are watching me today, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. You want to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I want to give you the opportunity to receive him. And I will pray for you that your faith comes alive. Your faith comes alive. Your faith comes alive. So you say, man of God, I want to receive Jesus. I will pray with you. I want to receive Jesus. I will pray with you. That you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And I also pray for those that want their faith to be revived again. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, we thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank the name of the Lord. If you are watching me and you want to be born again, you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I want to pray with you now. You want to type in the box, say, God, I am man of God, I want to receive Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Okay, I thank God you all received Jesus. You want to lift up your voice and pray right now. That the Lord God will help your faith. The Lord God will help your faith. If you're watching me and your faith is giving out. You feel like you are at a situation at a point in your life. Where you're giving up on God. You're giving up on trusting. This is an opportune time for you to pray. We are praying unto God that Father restore our faith. Restore our faith in you. May faith come alive in us. May faith be ignited in us one more time. Lift up your voice and pray that Father may your faith be restored one more time. May faith come alive in us one more time. May faith come alive in us one more time. May faith come alive in us one more time. Father we thank you. Father we thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, Mahaso and the Kata. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord. That your faith, anyone watching me today who has lost faith, whose faith is being shaken, whose faith is being tested, Lord. I pray that you sustain them. I pray that you preserve them. I pray, oh God, a fresh breath, a fresh breath, oh God, of trust. And believe and confidence in you, Holy Spirit. I pray, Holy Spirit. Rekindle the love of your people one more time. Give them the grace to live for you. And as Paul said, that if they live, they live by faith in the Son of God. May they have faith in you, Holy Spirit. May they have trust in you, Holy Spirit. May they have faith in you in the name of Jesus. May faith in the Son of God be revived one more time. One more time through the church, O oh Lord. One more time through the body of Christ. One more time through the body of Christ. May faith come alive. One more time, Father, I pray. Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. 
We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Spirit. I bless your name. I glorify your name. I bless your name. If you are watching me, if you are sick in any part of your body, I'd like you to lay your hands on that part right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray healing over your body. If any part of your body is not feeling well, you are not feeling well in any part of your body, I want you to pray, place your hand there. Father, I thank you. Father, we thank you. Faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Father, I pray at the sound of my voice. I administer healing to anyone. Anyone suffering in their body. I curse the spirit of infirmity. And I declare it come out of their bodies. Now, in the name of Jesus, any spirit that is sent or forth, to afflict the people of Christ. To afflict the people of God. I pray in the name of Jesus. I curse their works. Now. I curse their works now. I seize their works now. And I declare they come out of your body. Now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father I thank you Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus I pray. If you are led to sow, go ahead and sow. If you are led to sow, go ahead and sow to this word. If you are led to sow, go ahead and sow. I thank the Lord for your lives. I thank the Lord for every single one of you. We are still continuing with our fast. We are on 22 days. The 22nd day in our 40-day fast. Hallelujah. It's gone so fast. Hallelujah. It's gone so quickly. It's, we are just halfway through. Very soon it will be over. Hallelujah. Very soon it will be over. I'd like you to take it easy on yourself. Don't, don't overstretch yourself. It's 40 days. Go ahead and slowly enjoy the fast. Enjoy this time with the Lord. Enjoy your communion with the Lord. Uh, make time to pray. Hallelujah. Make time to pray. Hallelujah. The Bible says that as we give, as we pray, as we fast, we have to miss our prayer with giving. We have to miss our fasting with giving. Hallelujah. If you are skipping food, if you are not going without food, whatever food that you have, you have to give it to them that could not eat. Them, Sorry, them that do not have food, you have to give it to them. Give it to them. Don't hoard. It's not a time to hoard. It's a time to give. It's a time to open your hands. It's a time to do acts of good wrapped with faith. Hallelujah. Give to the needy wrap in faith. Good to give to the needy wrap in faith hallelujah if you want to give i encourage you to do that if you want to give i encourage you to do that you can sow into the word sow into the atmosphere sow into the grace of god and the lord will richly bless you i'm bringing my message to an end here i thank god for every single one of you the woman of god will be on today at 12 30 a.m today at 12 30 a.m the woman of god is going to be on live um, he, she's got a very powerful word to share with you. A very powerful word to share with you. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. When you come on, please invite someone. Share the message with someone that somebody else will be blessed. Hallelujah. So that somebody else will also be blessed. Should also be blessed. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you. Beza Shakor. Beza Shakor. Beza Shakor. Beza Shakor. I like to pray for you. Beza Shakor. Can you come on? 
ビザシコビザシコアマデブトアンヘフォーサムレーゼン。アムゴノプレイ、ファザー、アイプレイ、ナネムオジーセス、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、アリリースヨーピポー、An issue with your eye. Father, I thank you. I want to pray for that person. An issue on your eye. I curse that infection. In the name of Jesus. I curse that infection. In the name of Jesus. I curse that infection. In the mighty name of Jesus. I set you free. That your eyelids are healed. Right now, in the name of Jesus, your eyelids are healed. In the miraculous name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I release you into your blessings. I release you into your goodness. I release you into your mercies. I release you that the day will yield for you, that the land will respond to you, that the goodness of the land will be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I preserve your lives in the blood of Jesus. I cancel any form of accident, any witchcraft manipulation. I nullify it. I declare it powerless over your lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, stay blessed. May the Lord bless every single one of you. I'll be here tomorrow, 5 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 5 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Delis, Delis, I'll pray for you. You are one of the people that I wanted to pray for. Delis, I'll pray for you. I'll call you after, after here. Delis, I'll call you after here. Thank you, Jesus. Delis, I'll call you after here. I'll call you after here. Father, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Delis, why don't you call me? Immediately I hang up. Just call me. Delis. Immediately I hang up. Just call me. I thank God for every single one of you. God bless you all. Until I see you again tomorrow, 5 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 30 a.m. New York Time. I will be here. I'll be here. God bless every single one of you. Amen. <laughs>